Right, the first, the second hand chase from Olnig is uh, a two mile three handicap for 0 to 110s, and the first horse is one of those times is now. Warbird, Paul Rhodes, three is Storm Crow, Patrick Hogan, four California Dream in Patrick Hogan, five is House Arrest, Joshua Sutherland, six Joel Jewel Nosh, uh, Darren French, seven is Country Girl, Martin Leadham, eight Diamond Class, Alex Cherry, and nine the Victim, Stu Gray. So nine horses in the hunter chase, decent field. And away they go. And as quickly, uh, one of those times is now Obi Wan also goes to the front from house arrest for Joshua Sutherland. The grey horse on the outside of that is Warbird for Paul Rhodes. Up on the rail, the red colours of uh, Country Girl for Martin Needham. Then the two Patrick Hogan horses, one on the outside of Country Girl is Storm Crow, just behind that California Dreaming with the victim on that one's outside. And in between those two is Joel Doom Nosh and the back of the field, Diamond Gloss. We have a fall out of the victim's gone. Stu Gray is the victim, falls at the first. So down to eight horses, as the leader is one of those times is now. From the Grey Horse Warbird in second, they come to the next, and they all jump, but well, except for Storm Crow, who landed over that fence and drops to a joint last. So one of those times is now takes him along from Warbird to Grey Horse in second. Up on the outside of Warbird is Country Girl, on the rail is California Dreaming for Patrick Hogan. Just behind those, poking his horse between them is House Arrest for Joshua Sutton as they jump the next low jump by House Arrest. The orange sleeves uh, and cap on the inside is Diamond Class. Uh, on the outside of House Arrest, who's dropping back, is Storm Crow, who made that blunder at the first, and at the back of the field, Joel Dool Nash for Darren French. So eight horses, as one of those times now, takes him along, about five lengths clear of Country Guild in second for Martin Eden. Then come the two Patrick Hogan horses, California Dreaming on the inside, Storm Crow on the outside, improving after that blunder in the first alley, jumps it slowly, and so does uh, Sable Mate um, California Dreaming. Uh, moving closer now is Jolton Nosh, who was lost early on. Up on the rail is uh, Diamond Class as the jump the next, and Campos stands for the first time. More birds drop back to near the last of position, and at the back of the field is House Arrest. They pass the winning post for the first time, head out on their final circuit, and the lead is one of those times is now for Obi Wan from Country Girl in second. Then comes Storm Crow, who's improved off to that slow blunt jump on the first start. Um, on the inside is um, Californian Dreaming. Out on the outside of that is Joel Dool Nosh. Uh, jump the water. Uh, good jump by the horse just behind Joel Dool Nosh. Diamond class for Alex Cherry, but he has uh, caught in the pocket at the moment. Warbird, the grey horse, has dropped near to the back of the field. And House Arrest, who was prominent early, is at the trailer for Joshua Sutherland. They come to the next good jump by one of those times is now from Country Gold in second. Then comes Joel Dool Nosh for Darren French. The two Padre Gorgon horses behind that are California Dreaming on the rail and Storm Crow in between horses. Then comes Diamond Class for Alex Cherry with uh, House Arrest trying to improve and travelling well, uh, although about six or seven lengths off the lead is Warbird in between horses. A jump to next. A uh, slow jump though by Warbird, uh, loses about a length on the start on the field. So one of those times is now takes him along for Obi Wan, jumps the next well from Country Girl in second. Uh, Charlton Nosh on the outside of the two Patrick Hogan horses, Californian Dreaming and Storm Crow, is in between the two of them. Uh, then comes House Arrest, travelling three wide. The grey horse on the inside is Warbird for Paul Rhodes, and at the back of the field, Alex Terry's Diamond Class. They've got eight lengths, uh, eight lengths first to last, as one of those times is now takes him along. It's about two lengths clear of a strong travelling country. Country Girl. Warbird is trying to improve on the outside of Joel Jill Nosh. Up on the inside is Californian Dreaming. We have a faller there. Uh, Joel Jill Nosh is gone. Joel Jill Nosh is gone. It's a packing field now. It's one of those times it's now has been uh, joined by the strong travelling Warbird on the outside. On the inside is Californian Dreaming. Then comes Storm Crow. House Arrest is also going well for Joshua Sutherland. Now starting to struggle is Country Girl. He's lost his. Uh, it's lost his position, has dropped back to second loss, and the back of the field, Diamond Class, seems to be struggling. So, California Dreaming shoots in between horses and goes to the front. So, California Dreaming um, joins one of those times now on the outside. Warbird is still going well. Uh, then comes Country Girl, House Arrest, no move from that one yet. Storm Grows in between horses, trying to get going. In the back of the field, Diamond Class has been pushed along. But it's California Dreaming and Warbird, who now fight it out up front with two photos left to go. On the inside, it's California Dreaming. On the outside, Paul Rhodes, it's Warbird. The grey horse is trying to get closer. California Dreaming for Padre Cogan jumps the fence better and it's California Dreaming with a further left to travel. He goes to the lead. California Dreaming with a length clear of Warbird in second. House Arrest is trying to run on, but it's got too much to do. It's California Dreaming who pulls clear with a better jump over the last fence. And California Dreaming is going to win the second hunter chase from Olmick for Padre Cogan from Warbird in second. House Arrest was third. And the long term leader one of those times is now pushed back in fourth. So Padre Cogan picks up the second hunter chase from Olmick with, with California Dreaming. 
Warbird second for Paul Rhodes. House Arrest for Joshua Sutherland was back in third. And one of those times is now Obi Wan finishing fourth. That was a long time leader. Country Girl faded right out of it for Martin Eden. And the second Patrick Hogan or Storm Crow.